how to pronounce often, often, Ruth or Route, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Nike, Nike, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, shine, shine. Hey everyone, it's Hadar. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to take you through the 10 most how to pronounce searched words on Google. Let me explain. The other day I was uh, chatting with my friend Google and I typed in how to pronounce and then I started seeing some of the keywords that usually suggest that these are the terms that people search for the most. And I was like, ooh, this is interesting. Let's see what people are searching for when they type in how to pronounce. And I came up with a list of 10 words, which I decided they are the 10 most searched words on Google. Probably that is not 100% accurate, but on my Google, it is. I did look it up on incognito, so it's not designed to fit my personal needs. Let's get started with seeing what words people struggle with their pronunciation the most. The first one is the women's clothing brand, Shein. Shein, which is basically a combination of two words, she and in. So make sure you're shifting between the high E of the she to the lax I of the in. She in, she in. However, not a lot of people know that this is a compound, a word that is comprised of two words, two separate words, and people tend to pronounce it as shine, as in shine on you crazy diamond, shine. So technically, because this is vastly used as well, I guess you can use it, but just so you know that the proper pronunciation is Shein. The second one that came up is another brand. What a surprise, because these are the really crucial things that we need to know. And it is Nike, Nike. So in Hebrew, we pronounce it as Nike, and I guess that's the pronunciation in many other languages as well. This is why it's confusing. Also, the spelling is deceiving because the E at the end is usually silent. Um, and therefore people assume that it might be Nike, but in fact, it's pronounced as Nike. Ni, I as in my, and then E as in C, Nike. The next word, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, as in add some Worcestershire sauce to your Bloody Mary, my friend, Worcestershire. So let's break it down. The first syllable is W. W, a W sound, and the U uh sound as in cook, look, book. W, W, wood, woman, W, W. The second syllable is st, st. An S sound, a T, and a schwa, st. It's almost like you want to say stuff, but a lot more reduced. Worcester. The final syllable is sure, sure, as in sure. I can go, sure, sure. So basically there is no vowel in the middle or a schwa if you want to be particular. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. The following search term is names. So I'm assuming people don't struggle with the pronunciation of names, the, the word names, but with names in general. So this is why I have a video coming up for you soon about how to pronounce the most complicated names in English but that's for another video. So let's look at the next search term, entrepreneur. I already have a video about how to pronounce this word, but let's break it down here as well. The first syllable is on, on, like turn it on, on. So don't be deceived by the E here. It's an ah, as in father. Then we have tr, T-R and a schwa, tr, T-R together create a ch sound, tr, then pr, that's it, on, tra, pr, and then the final syllable, you can play with it. You can either say nor, I've heard people saying nor with a y sound, and if you wanna make it super easy, just say ner, entrepreneur. So, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. All three options are valid, Use the one that is easiest for you. And of course, on this list, you will find the word because people are not sure how to pronounce it. Is it gif or jif? 
Well, if you look at the word intuitively, a lot of people might say, okay, it starts with a G, like guitar and great and give. So it should be pronounced with a G sound, a hard G sound. But others may claim that yes, maybe the word starts with a G, but other words start with a G and pronounced with a J, as in giraffe or ginger. So, we can't tell simply by the spelling. I think you've already figured it out, you know, if you've watched some of my videos. English pronunciation does not correspond with the spelling. And here, there's actually a really great video that explains the difference and claims that it should be pronounced as GIF, even though GIF is also valid. And I'm going to link to it in the description. I'm here to give you permission to use whatever you want because half of the world says GIF and the other half says GIF. And I've been researching this. So you can just choose whatever feels more comfortable to you. I personally like to say GIF, but I don't hate it when people say GIF. At first it was a little weird, but it's just how it is. So both are okay. Use whatever you want. I'm not here to claim that one is better than the other. The next most searched how to pronounce term is water. Yes. I also have a video about water that I'm going to link to it below, but let's talk about it. Water. We begin with a W sound and then you drop your jaw to the A ah as in father. Wa. Wa. The length of the syllable is really important. Make sure it's longer than the second syllable. The second syllable is der. That's a flap T that shifts into an R. Water. Water. And yes, you guys, this is American pronunciation. In British English, the T is actually going to be closer to a regular T. Water. Can I get some water? Water. And then the R is not pronounced in British English. And let's not make fun of my British accent, please. Okay, so water, water, right? In American English. Open A ah sound, flap T. And an R. The next searched word is, is it often or often? Well, here as well, both are correct. It's really interesting that the most searched words are controversial words and ultimately there is no right or wrong. So the most common pronunciation is often without the T, but pronouncing the T is not wrong and a lot of people do that often. I noticed that some people pronounce both depending on how they use the word in context. So if they don't pay attention to the word, a lot of times it's going to be often. And then sometimes when they slow down, they will put in the T often, right? So as I said, if both exist, you can use both and both are correct. Often, often. The next most searched term, and this is so funny, I would never have guessed it, is this. This is an internet meme from 2013, and the way you pronounce it is doge. Doge. It's a D sound, O as in go, and then the zh sound, as in vision. Zh. Doge. You live and learn. You live and learn. What can I tell you? If you had no idea what that was, then I am here to serve. Always. Always. Very useful things. Very important, crucial for your understanding of English, everything. I got you covered. Doge. The last most searched word for today is this. So again, here you have two very common pronunciations. So I guess people were trying to understand which one is right. Is it root or route? Root or route. The first one is an R sound, then the tense oo, root with a held T at the end, or route, route, ow as a now. So again, if you hear it both ways, probably both are legit and both can be used. If they're used, you can use one of them. Just choose the one that is easier for you. Is it root or route? Now, yes, I know that some people might watch it and say, hey, you know, actually, Hadar, it's root. And route sounds less sophisticated. Or actually, it's often and often it's just a mistake, blah, 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 whatever. You know, my take on this is that if people use it, it exists. Therefore, you can use it as well. 
pronounce it the way it's comfortable for you because it's going to be clear either way or either way. Root or route. Okay, that's it. The 10 most how to pronounce searched words. That was a tricky sentence there. And what other words do you think should be on that list? Let me know in the comments and maybe I'll create a video from all the words that you have suggested in the comments. Maybe not all the words, but the main words, the keywords. Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it fun and helpful. And it's always fun to see what people are searching for and what people struggle with. And then it makes you feel good about yourself because, hey, I'm not the only one not knowing how to pronounce Nike or Doge, whatever that means. Honestly, I did not know what it means. I had to look it up between us. I'm not very big on memes, even though they make me laugh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want more good stuff, then come on over to my website at hadarshemesh.com. And I have a free audio crash course for you and a list of the most mispronounced words by speakers of English as a second language. So you can get that list with audio and it's totally free. So just click somewhere here on the video and go get it. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at hadar.accentsway. I would love to connect with you there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week in the next video.